Vice President Kamala Harris is advocating for eliminating the U.S. Senate filibuster to codify abortion rights. It marks the furthest Harris has gone to date in her pledge to restore abortion rights at the federal level if she is elected in November. In an interview with Wisconsin Public Radio Tuesday, Harris said, I think we should eliminate the filibuster for Roe to actually put back in law the protections for reproductive freedom and for the ability of every person and every woman to make decisions about their own body and not have their government tell them what to do. The filibuster currently requires 60 votes to advance most legislation, something Harris believes should be removed so then a simple majority of 51 votes could pass abortion legislation. All it takes to eliminate the filibuster is a simple majority vote. Some Senate Democrats like Bernie Sanders of Vermont and Tammy Baldwin of Wisconsin say they're on board to bypass a filibuster in order to codify abortion rights. With an election right around the corner, whoever wins the majority may determine whether a filibuster happens. And Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer believes the issue could incentivize voters to vote Democrat. Schumer said it's pretty certain that voting rights, if we get our 50 and Kamala's president, we have the votes to do that. That's one of the issues we face. We need to make sure people know that when they vote for a Republican candidate, they're voting for basically a national abortion ban. And when we do it, it has real resonance. Recent Democratic efforts to end the filibuster were stemmed by moderate Democrats Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, both of whom are retiring from the Senate at the end of this year. Trump says he wants to keep decisions about abortion at the state level, supporting the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. While Harris has vowed to restore federal abortion rights if she is elected, making reproductive rights central to her campaign. Thanks for watching our news update. For more election related coverage, download the Straight Arrow News mobile app. For SAN, I'm Kara Rucker.